Welcome to Cat Chat. This is Emily and Leanne from the Behavior Department here to talk to you about litter box issues. So this is our second part of a four-part series talking about reasons why your cat may not be using your litter box. So we previously talked about medical issues and now Leanne is going to tell you a bit about litter box setup. Yes, and these babies are still so active. I love it. So litter box setup issues. That phrase really encaps encapsulates Encapsulates, I can't say that word, sorry, um, a multitude of variables related to your litter box. So this is the number of litter boxes that you have in your home. It's the type of litter that you have in the litter boxes. Do you change it frequently because it's on sale or do you stay consistent? Unscented versus scented. Covered boxes versus uncovered boxes. How large the box is itself, especially if you've got a large cat like this guy right here, and you have a box that is no bigger than that, um, that's going to not leave him a ton of space to find a clean, um, clean pocket of litter to do his business in. Um, how often you scoop? Do you scoop daily? Do you not scoop daily? How often do you fully, fully dump the litter box out, um, empty it of all that litter, wash it, clean it, dry it, and refill it with fresh litter? how many are in the house, and also if they're spaced out from one another. So respectfully, a line of four litter boxes in the basement, if you have a 2,000 square foot home with three levels, is like having one bathroom in your entire 2,000 square foot home with four toilets. It doesn't give every family member or guest options um, for their own private use of a bathroom. So spacing them out is really important. So these are just a number of variables. There's even more. Um, but the thing that we have to realize is that we, when we want our cats to be faithful to their litter box, treat it for what it is. It's a toilet. Faithful litter box habits means that we have to consider the toilet from your cat's point of view. So there are a number of variables that we can help you with over the phone or an in-home consult. The benefit of the in-home consult is we can come to your house, be a fresh set of eyes, and give you this perspective on things that you might be missing. So that's your litter box setup tutorial. Um, it's definitely loaded, lots of variables, but it can make a big difference. Um, and it can be sometimes an easier fix than you might think if it's related to that quadrant alone. So we'll see you next time on Cat Chat, guys. Go eat. <laughs>